What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the green CP tree. A lot of people in the community have been discussing they would like to see some changes and personally for me I would like to see the green CP tree just all be passives. Because if you look at all the other skill trees we have available, the blue tree, the red tree, these are all helping with combat, defense, that kind of thing. But when it comes to the green skill tree itself, I don't really see the need to have slottables here. I mean the majority of people unlock what couple slot the couple of slottables they're going to use and they don't even touch the CP tree after that. I've heard of people saying they have hundreds of points left because they don't really feel that the green CP tree is even honestly needed. Uh, some of that stuff is not really affecting your combat or anything. So if they're not really going to add anything that affects combat, I think the green CP tree could probably be just all passives, and I think most people will be fine with that. I mean, if you look at what I have slotted Steed's Blessing, this is increasing your out-of-combat movement speed by 0.4%, so it's a 20% increase in total if you have 50 points in it. Now, if you're going for speed runs, that might be considered useful in you know combat situation. You look at things like liquid efficiency, you got a 10% chance to not consume it when you have your you know, total of 75 points in it. Could save you a little bit of money in combat if you use spell power pots, uh, you know, weapon pots, that kind of thing. Uh, and another thing, of course, here uh, that I guess you might could consider being useful in combat would be rationer, which is adding 10% of duration to your food or drink, which is going to give you a total of 30 minutes if it is maxed out. Now, this was a little bit stronger, in my opinion, before the nerf came through where you, know, you were getting that big extra bonus between this and your provisioning uh, passives. Uh, of using a uh, you know something like an XP pot, you were getting that on what hour and forty five minutes there at one point, but that has been changed. But even just the food in general is, yes, it could be helpful. Yes, you're going to spend a little bit less money if you're in a dungeon or a trial for a long time. You're getting that extra bonus between this and your provisioning for your food. But still, there's nothing really here in my opinion that really affects combat. I mean, break fall is helpful for fall damage, but besides you know maybe running around in the open world you're not getting a lot of fall, fall damage in dungeons and trials and things like that uh wanderer which is great i always recommend wanderer if anybody ever asks me in game what to use in the green tree just because you're reducing that cost of waste shrine usage so if you need to fast travel somewhere uh you don't want to go to one of your houses maybe which is what i usually do but if you just want to go quickly back to a waste shrine it's gonna be a lot cheaper to travel to those waste shrines if you're not near a waste shrine you know to be able to go to so if you want to go back to a, a you know a certain area it's a lot cheaper on your gold uh, when it comes to other things like fortune's favor uh, your gilded fingers all this other stuff they have uh, available here uh, meticulous disassembly there's a lot of stuff here that's really nice treasure hunter uh, steadfast enchantment there's a lot of stuff here people use even gifted rider uh, war mount some people like to use the plentiful harvest you know you get 10 percent double nodes uh, i use this of course on my uh, farming character but when it comes to just what's here in general uh, for combat, there's really not anything that's affecting your combat one way or another. If you look at everything we have available here, maybe besides Steed Blessing, like I said, if you're going for a speed run, you could take all the green points away from your character and it's really not going to change your combat effectiveness whatsoever. So I think, in general, the green tree either needs to have some things that will help with combat or at least help a little bit more than they do now with combat. Or this needs to just be all passives because it's kind of crazy to have these slottables and you know whatever else you have left here you know to put your points in some things like i said wonder and whatnot that might be useful break fall but there's nothing really here that's changing the way your character is going to perform like it would be in the blue or red tree so i'm kind of curious what you guys think would you like to see some changes to the green skill tree i think that green cp really has not been looked at much baza since the update of course everything that's happening i made a video yesterday talking about the changes coming to the red tree and how most of us are going to have to re-roll our red tree most likely considering all the new sub categories they're adding in are probably going to be better than what we're running right now on the red tree but overall the green tree besides the change to uh, being able to run that xp pot for an extended period of time that's really the only change that really have been that has been done to the green tree and i feel like that green tree needs some type of change to like i said improve it to where it will actually help you in combat or just completely get rid of the slottables on the green tree and make everything in green passive because to a certain point i mean i guess you can unlock all of that stuff and if you want to go farm on a character or do combat on a character you can just go in and swap your slottables out but like i said a lot of people are even saying you know out there have said they don't even mess with much in the green tree they get what they want and they don't even touch the points they have several hundred points just sitting there because they don't feel that the green tree is uh good enough to really affect what they're doing in game and of course i guess if you are a new player some of the things that get you some extra gold might be helpful but if you've played for a long time you have millions of gold in your bank 
that little percent of gold that you're getting from chests and things like that in game and finding you know extra gold just from doing stuff you know in general in game is not really going to be that big of a benefit so hopefully Zoss will look at the green tree and eventually change some things up but i'm really curious what you guys would like to see happen with the green tree leave me a comment let me know and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliate here on channel empire jerky and i'll catch you next time peace